On this extremely quick Ableton tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can import MIDI files into Ableton. Let's get right into it. So as you can see, Ableton's pulled up. There's two ways you can do this. The first thing is I can go to places and find it using this directory, or I can go to the MIDI file itself and drag and bring it in. I'll show you how to do both. So the first thing is like say I wanna bring in the Moonlight Sonata MIDI. In my opinion, the first movement of the Moonlight Sonata is the closest song to being perfect, quote unquote, ever made, hold this subject for a whole other video. But anyway, so I have the MIDI right here. All I need to do is click here, drag in like so. Then it's gonna ask me, do I wanna import the tempo and time signature data into the arrangement? I suggest saying yes. Now there's differences, there's pros and cons to yes or no. In most, I'd say 90% of cases, you wanna say yes. That way, all the kind of data behind the MIDI in terms of the BPM, the time signature, et cetera, et cetera, will be imported into Ableton. So I'm just gonna click, uh, click yes, and there we go. I have now the entire MIDI of the Moonlight Sonata, and you can do this obviously for any MIDI file. The second way I can do this, let's say if it's not on your desktop or it's somewhere else on your computer, I'm gonna move Ableton over, and I'm gonna find where the MIDI file is. In this case, it's on my desktop. All I need to do is click, drag in like so, as you can see, click yes. That easy.